first started running, I uh, dealt with some chafing issues in between my big thunder thighs. And uh, I tried a couple different things, but runner shorts just wouldn't work for me because my thighs would rub against themselves. So I tried running in some basketball shorts with some compression underwear. That seemed to work, but then it's too baggy and I got too much material between my legs. And then several years ago, I was listening to Trail Runner Nation and they talked about Path Project shorts and their innovative design. And I thought, I gotta give these a shot. Man, I loved them from my first run in them. And uh, the very first pair I had, I was uh, going down a hill, kind of baby style on my butt, and I cut them open with a big rock on the back. And so I had to sew them up. I used some nice bright orange thread just to make sure everybody knew that I sewed, sewed them up. And um, from then I bought a couple more pair that have the side zipper pockets, and they're fantastic because they hold so much stuff. So I can put my phone in my back pocket, I can put food in one pocket, my GoPro in another pocket, and it's got a special little side pocket just for my key, or in the really cold months for my chapstick. With winter approaching and the nights getting dark so quick, uh, I decided to add a few items to my wardrobe. So I ordered two long sleeve shirts from Path Projects, one with a hood, uh, one plain, and the long legged linings uh, to wear under the shorts. So I'm eager to try them both, but unfortunately the weather's gotten kind of unseasonably warm. It's just drop dead gorgeous. So Nathan and I are gonna take a nice little run along the Missouri River here, and uh, hopefully the weather will turn cold soon so I get a chance to test out some of my new winter wardrobe items. So just a quick editing note here. This is pictures taken back in 2016 at my very first ultra. So 50K out at Wyandotte County. Look at how much extra stuff I was wearing. One, I was wearing a vest. It's a 10 mile loop. There was no need for me to be wearing a vest. I was way overdressed for the weather. I was wearing these crazy basketball shorts and I had on gaiters, which I didn't really need for this dry of a course. Um, it's rocky, but it's not like a bunch of pebbles. So the good news is, fast forward three years later to 2019 and uh, I've vastly improved. I no longer need the vest or the gaiters. And I've upped my shorts game to have incredible shorts now. And uh, even better yet, back then I ran a 50K in 6.55. Last fall, I ran it in 6.26. Pretty nice improvement. Losing my life. 